Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our OSDB migration training. Next topic which is on ABAP migration tool. Okay, in this particular topic, we'll talk about the different tools which is used for carrying out an OSDB migration for an ABAP based system. So let's get started. Okay, here you can see this is one of the tool which is R3 load control, R3 LDCTL. This tool, it treats the ABAP dictionary to extract the database independent tables and index structures and write them into the star.str files. Okay, every version of R3 LDCTL contains release specific built in knowledge about the table and index structures of specific SAP internal tables which cannot be retrieved from the ABAP dictionary. R3 LDCTL creates the DDL and in case of Oracle, it will be DDL ORA.TPL file for every SAP, SAP supported database. So just take note that this file is uh, database type specific for Oracle, it will be DDL ORA.TPL. So similarly, the file will be for different database types, for example, DB2, or Oracle, or, or SQL or any other database. Okay, so as of version 4.5a, the size computation of tables and indexes are removed from R3 LDCTL, that is R3 load control and implemented in a separate program called R3 size check, which also creates the star.ext files. R3 LDCTL is still used for star.ext file generations in 3.1i and 4.0b. Okay, R3 LDCTL or say for that matter, R3 site check can only run as a single process. No parallelization is possible. The table DD load D is used to store the results of the table index size calculation. So basically the size calculations they are stored in table called DD load D which stores all the size calculation and R3 site check generates the target table size file db size dot xml for SAP INST. Size calculation is limited to about 2 terabyte for each database object or index. So basically what we have seen is this is mainly for the ABAP related data dictionary extractions. Okay, let's go to the next tool which we have seen so far is the R3 side check. R3 side check as we have seen is mainly used for the calculation of the database sizes. Okay, size of the database basically it will give you the structure of uh, what are the size, what is going to be the total size of the database that you need to create at the remote system, what are the different tables and what their sizes and structure need to be. So that is pretty much about the R3 size check and the file name which contains that information is dbsize.xml. Okay, so that is on the R3 side check. Let's go into the one of the very important tool which is R3 load. Okay, R3 load basically it's a implementation is database and platform specific. So just make sure that when you are downloading this particular tool from SAP marketplace, you need to make sure that you are downloading it for the right version of your score system especially for the export activities. Okay, so R3 load writes its data in a format that is independent of database and platform. So this format can be read and processed on all platforms supported by SAP. The standard R3 load implementation contains an abcadic or ASCII conversion of character set only. Other translation tables are available upon request. So character set conversion to Unicode are implemented since R3 load 6.1. The conversion will be done at export time as additional information is necessary which is only available in the source system. So before the data export import, R3 load performs a syntax check on the star.str files. This prevents uninterrupted or unintended overlaps between field names in table and R3 load keywords as well as other inconsistencies. If an R3 load process terminate with an error, a restart function allows the export import to be continued after the last successful recording action. So special care must be taken on restarts, especially in case 
if there is a restart happens or system is restarted because of crash or power failure or out of space on export disk and aborted okay so we need to take special care we'll cover that and as of release 4.3 4.5a rt load writes information about the source system into the dump file rt load checks these entries when starting the import if source and target os and db are different rt load will need a valid migration key so one thing to take note of is when we are performing an osdb migration we need to generate a migration key which is extremely important for any heterogeneous migration so basically we will be covering in a separate training demo on how to generate a migration key for an osdb migration okay but just take note that during an export uh, import process it will ask for the migration key okay the next thing is the SAP ABAP migration tool that is R3 load CTL, R3 site check, R3 load are system release dependent. So you just need to download the program, this program for your specific release. In case if you want, you have downloaded for some other release, you may not be able to use it in some other releases. So just take note that you are downloading that the latest version from SAP marketplace for your specific version of your SAP system. SAP ABAP kernel versions which are backward compatible to earlier SAP system releases also have backward compatible versions of R3 load CTL, R3 side check and R3 load. And R3 setup and R3 SAP inst can be updated by SAP independent from R3 load CTL and R3 side check to support new environments. Okay, here in this particular slide, you can see that how the R3 load is reading the data from uh, and how it is writing this particular files and how the read write is taking place. So basically how it is reading the data from the database. Okay, next thing is let's get into SMIGR create DLL. So SMIGR create DLL, basically this is uh, used for creating the DLL for non-standard database objects and writes it into tabart.sql files basically depending on the tables uh, architecture so tabart.sql is used by R3 load to create the non-standard DB objects in the target database by passing the information in package.str files so non-standard objects are using DB specific features storage parameters which are not part of the ABAP dictionary. Mainly they are the BW object. Since NetWeaver 2004, BW functionality is an integral part of the standard. Now customers or SAP can decide to implement BW object on any system. The report must run to make sure that non-standard DB objects get the wrong, wrong storage parameters on the target system. Okay, then next is about the uh, BW RS underscore BW post migration basically it performs the necessary adaptation because of DB specific objects in the target system. Okay, so this is one program which is not part of the actual export import process, but this is mainly used as the post migration. For post migration, it is used. Okay, and compatibility of SAP migration tool as we have seen that we need to download the latest available and they are release dependent. So just make sure that you are downloading the right set of these tools for the migration. That is very important. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular training session. Thank you for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye.